Hello, it's Nikki. How you doing? I hope you are well. I am in my mum's house today and I'm playing that game. I don't know if you ever have that. You know when you're in somebody else's house and there's all kinds of noises going on. There's the heating, the boiler, the dishwasher. Who knows what's around the corner? Um, But yeah, that's what the background noise is, is if you can hear it. So today I have a sassy little number for you and some exercises for you to consider and play around with. Even though you might not be listening to this at the end of a year as we embark on a new one, um, you can take these exercises and you can use them whenever you like. I really understand the power of a brand new year and the first of the first and all of that sort of stuff. But equally, we're in really weird times. So you can pick up these exercises any time that you like and uh, use them and make them your own and really enjoy the process. These exercises really help me as well when I'm feeling stuck, when I'm feeling stagnant, where things are blocked and I need to almost get things going a little bit. And it's always that pipe. I always think about, you know, plumbers when they're trying to get the water coming through again, and then it takes a while for the temperature to even out. This is a really good opportunity for you to start this process again. And the first thing that I want you to do, and of course, this is a pick and mix. So you can take the bits that you want to take with you and ditch the rest. And also as well, as I always say in these podcasts, you know your capabilities, you know your circumstances. And there may be some things that you're just like, I I can't do that today, Nikki. That's just not going to work for me. Absolutely. Ditch it. Push it to one side. Revisit it if you want or forget about it equally. The first thing I want you to do is to move is to put your trainers on and your coat on, and it might be raining, and give yourself, say, 20 minutes. 20 minutes of walking. And I want you to take yourself around your local area. And again, if you can do this, this would be great. And ideally, do this with no music, no podcasts, nobody else, no chat or anything like that. And I want you just to walk and I want you to notice how you're feeling in your body. And I want you to start to notice what is going on around you. And these may be streets that you have walked for many, many years. Like the first time when I originally moved to North London uh, 21 years ago, There was a theatre that I used to perform at very close to where I live now. So I really feel like I've been walking these streets for over half my life. And sometimes I just think, oh, I need a change of scenery. But there's always something new. There's always something that's happening. And one thing that happened for me the other day is I was out on a run and there's this one particular street where in the spring summer, it is absolutely beautiful. It's on a really big hill. So I always really notice it, especially if I'm, well, I enjoy it when I'm running down it, but I really notice it when I'm running up it because it's one of those cheeky hills. It doesn't look too bad from the bottom, but it's really long. It's a really, really long road. And in that summer months, those summer months, the trees are absolutely lining the pavement with this beautiful pink blossom. And the other day when I went up and down it, I noticed that the trees were completely and utterly bare. And I was looking at nature and thinking, wow, they are, ju- these trees, these trees, are, uh, I mean, I was in deep in thought, clearly. These trees are just owning where they're up to. Then they're, they're not trying to be anything else. They're not talking about those days when they were pink blossom earlier in the year. They're like, no, nope, here I am. This is what I'm doing. And for me, that moment of walking and checking in with yourself and seeing how you feel in your body is going to be so valuable, really thinking about where you go next and really giving yourself that permission to check in with what you need and really look at what is going on for you. 
So this simple exercise of just walking for 20 minutes, sometimes this is really noticeable for me where I'm like, oh, I feel quite stressed today. Oh, okay. I really needed to clear that. I didn't realize that mm, I was, I was feeling, oh I, yeah. Oh, I felt it in my chest. Then I go through these thoughts. The other day when I went for a run, I said to Matt afterwards, I said, oh, for the first time in about three months, my ankle has felt normal again. Um, about three months ago, I went over on it in a really awkward, horrible way. And I thought I'd broken it. Unfortunately, I hadn't. But it's been really sore and it's been really kind of troubling me over the last few months. And the other day I had that moment of like, the pain is gone. I'm back to normal. That felt really good. I also want you to notice what you're drawn to. What are you seeing peeking into other people's houses in a legal way? Absolutely. Really noticing colours and seeing what's around you. And a casting director gave me this piece of advice years ago. <coughs> Excuse me. And he just said, remember to look up. Always look up. And he wasn't saying this directly to me, but he was saying it to a group because I think so often we can all get so stuck in what's immediately in front of us. So what's on our phone or what's on our to-do list or what's in the fridge or the surfaces that are around us going, where is all this mess coming from? Why do we look like we've been burgled? But giving yourself that permission to look up and really enjoy the process. Once you've done that, I want you to spend some time, five or 10 minutes when you get home, if possible. So this is like a half an hour exercise. And I want you to write down your observations or your feelings or your thoughts or your ideas or what came up for you and really notice them. And if there is a solution that you can find in that moment, give yourself that permission to explore that further. So sometimes what I might say is I really need to find out a way where I can make this thing easier and sometimes after the walk, I'll come back and I'm like, oh, I know, I now know exactly what to do, right? I'm going to email that person or I'm going to order something or I'm going to book something. And I suddenly have that solution very quickly. If you don't have the solution, that's all right as well. Just keep it there because those ideas have come to you for a reason. The next thing I want you to do is to really observe your environment and take maybe 20 minutes if you've got it or five if you haven't and really eliminate anything from your space, your surroundings that do doesn't feel a go good or if it doesn't feel aligned with where you're going. And I really have to check myself and my desk sometimes because my desk, which incidentally I bought 10 years ago, I absolutely love it. It wasn't particularly expensive. It's a really massive desk. So it has my iMac on. I can also get my laptop on various other bits, but because it's big, it seems to accumulate a lot of stuff. And especially when my kids come in, they want to put stuff or give me things. And if I'm not careful, I'll just have everybody else's agenda on there because it's easy to do that. I'm not constricted by my space. But if I'm going into that place of visioning, of really thinking, right, where do I go next? What do I do? I need to be really aware of my environment. Because I was talking to my mum the other day that sometimes we don't know what is around us because we're too busy like going, where's my coat? Right, we've got to go. What time is it? Oh, we'll be back this time. What are we having for dinner? And if we're not aware and bringing our focus to what's going on around us, we might go, why has that thing been there for 10 years? I don't even like it. Why? Why, why is that cluttering up my space? So I just want you to go through and just check and see if there's anything that you can lift or move or send to a charity shop and just start to clutter. Open some windows, open up your space, give yourself some fresh sheets if you want to, or just start to contain things or do those things where even if you've got loads of papers everywhere, just put them in a pile so they are gathered so you know that that's a task to have. The next thing I want you to do is ask yourself, what do you need to release? What do you need to release and let go of? 
And take a deep breath as you're doing that and make a decision today that it's not going to come with you. And here's a visual that might happen. You know, when you see people at airports and they've maybe been to America or they've been to a place where the shopping is amazing and they get to the airport and they go and weigh their luggage and suddenly they are way over the amount or they have to pay loads of money and you see people opening up their cases going, oh gosh, oh right, right, are you taking this? Right, we're going to leave that, we're going to leave the lilo, that's not coming with us. And they have to make those snap decisions about what is important to them, what is worth coming with them. And I want you to think about that in terms of your business and your brand for going forward. Because there are some things, especially in my business, where I've looked at them and I've reflected and I am not getting the result or the reciprocity or the engagement. And I don't mean kind of likes or comments or things like that, but that sense of being heard or I guess the the karmic effect of me putting something out and it coming back, that boomerang effect And I'm going to make a decision to leave some of those things in 2021. And I'm going to be consciously opening myself up to that discomfort, because it is discomfort change, of what the next year will be. And really understanding that if I make space for this, I can welcome the next chapter with that fresh energy. And we've seen it as well. I I don't know if your parents used to do this, but if we'd ever go away for a weekend or to see family, or if we go away on a holiday, my mum would buy about four days before we were going. She's like, we are all eating every part of this fridge. We're not buying any more food we're not, we're not doing it. We're not doing it. And so you might be like, oh, I'm having a cracker and an old bit of cheese and uh, some baked beans <laughs> because that was what was in the cupboard. But that sense of when you then come back and being able to fill your fridge with that freshness again, I want you to think about what that looks like for you and make some decisions over the next few days and not only make those decisions, but take that action and really draw a line under things, really be aware about what you need and consider how you are going to make that happen. I am really interested to know what came up for you today. And I want to leave on this moment as well that what I've shared with you today may leave you feeling a bit uncomfortable, like, oh, but, or, or this is what I do sometimes. I try and skip the work. Oh no, I don't need to do that. I don't need to do that. I'm just going to goal set and I'm, I don't need to clear anything. I need everything. And that's why I don't know if there's any parents out there, but you have to clear up your kids' toys and move things on when they're not there. Obviously nothing that is hugely, hugely um, sentimental or personal to them, but the amount of times where they're like, but I love that tiny bit of pink plastic like why and I'm like it's a rectangle why are they obsessing with this thing but it's so funny what we want to cling on to in terms of next steps oh there's so many things I can help you with so you can come over to Jam and Plan Live which is happening on the 10th of January. Equally, you can join your personal brand plan and get my support right there with you for the next six months. I would absolutely love to do that. And also, I'm taking bookings now for January and February. The first couple of weeks is looking really full for me, so I am booking ahead into January. But I would love to know what support you need, how I can help you. If you'd like to have a free um, complimentary 15-minute session, please let me know. I will share my diary some availability with you. But basically, I want to know your big dreams. I want to hear what you've got planned. I want to know it all. And I want you to help you to do it as well. All right. Thank you so much for being with me today. Let me know how you get on. And I'm sending lots of love. Bye.